Welcome to the Computer Science and Engineering Division of EECS, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. We are so excited you decided to declare with us. The fast rate of innovation in computer technologies has created many new and exciting opportunities for students with undergraduate degrees in our division. We look forward to working with you as you pursue a major in our division, and we hope this video serves as a good primer for what to expect. This video will review course planning tools, your program requirements, and several campus resources to support your success in our program. There are also many people in the CSE UAO, or Undergraduate Advising Office, here to help. This includes both staff advisors available for scheduled advising appointments and virtual drop-in advising, as well as dedicated administrative staff. You'll be hearing from some of our advisors in this video, and we're located at 2808 Feister Building if you want to stop by and say hi to our team. Let's get started with course planning tools. Please take a moment to open and bookmark the links provided in the video description below. The LSA course guide, engineering bulletin, and atlas will all be helpful to reference regularly as you plan your courses each semester. The eeks.io, that's E-E-C-S dot I-O, CSE course info page is also a great link to bookmark for whenever you're planning out courses for your major requirements. It houses our special topics course sheet, workload surveys, ULCS and MDE slash capstone info sheet, our course lists, our course websites, and our CSE course sorting tool. The degree audit report is also an important document, which allows students to monitor their individual progress toward graduation. To access your report, log into Wolverine Access and select Student Business to find the Student Center tile. Next, click on My Academics and then View My Advisement Report to generate an updated version of your degree audit report, also called your DAR. This will allow you to track your progress in each requirement section, which my colleague will review in more detail now. Our office also provides a Google Sheet template for additional tracking of degree completion to aid in course planning. Common Engineering Requirements. We will start by reviewing what is referred to as your Common Engineering Requirements. You likely review these requirements with your Engineering Advising Center advisor and will have already made progress in this portion of your degree. Students are required to complete a series of Calculus, Science, and Engineering courses. These courses are required for all College of Engineering students, but will have some variations depending on the major you declare. Computer Science and Engineering, or CSEng for short, students are required to receive a C or better in all common engineering courses. You are also required to take Math 214, Applied Linear Algebra, or some equivalent course. If you'd like to discuss alternative options, we invite you to talk to an advisor. Intellectual Breadth your intellectual breadth requirement is made up of at least 16 total credits of liberal arts courses, commonly referred to as LACs. To learn more about courses that qualify as LACs, we encourage you to review the definition in the Engineering Bulletin on the Core Requirements page. Within those 16 credits, you are required to complete at least three credits of Humanities and at least three credits of a 300 level or higher LAC course. Some students are able to satisfy these specific requirements with just one class. You are also able to complete up to four credits of professional or creative development courses, also known as PCDC for this requirement, but PCDC courses are optional. General electives. As College of Engineering students, you must take all of your common engineering, intellectual breadth, and major required courses in order to complete your degree and reach the 128 credits required for graduation. If it becomes clear that you will not reach 128 credits as you work through these requirements, you will then need to take additional courses for credit. General electives are any course you receive credit for but do not satisfy a specific requirement. Therefore, the number of general elective credits will fluctuate from student to student. General requirements. There are some general requirements that all College of Engineering students must complete in order to graduate. You must have completed at least 50 credits at the U of M Ann Arbor campus. 
Your cumulative and major GPAs must be a 2.0 or higher. You must complete a minimum of 128 credits. And while completing coursework at U of M, you have the option to take up to 14 credits pass-fail outside of COVID grading semesters and use them toward your degree. The only courses that can be taken pass-fail are your general elective and intellectual breadth courses. You are not able to take more than two courses per term pass-fail. Computer Science Engineering Admissions. Students admitted to the University of Michigan fall 2023 or later must be selected to study CS through one of the approved selection pathways in order to declare CS engineering. Students who were admitted prior to fall 2023 are not subject to the CS admissions process and can declare the major upon meeting the declaration requirements described next. Computer Science Eng requirements. In order to declare in CS engineering, you must be a College of Engineering student, have completed at least one full term at U of M Ann Arbor, have an overall U of M GPA of 2.0 or better in courses taken at U of M, be in good academic standing, and completed or earned credit by exam or transfer for at least one course in each of these categories. Calculus, so for example, Math 115, 116, or 156. Calculus-based physics lectures, for example, Physics 140 or 160, or Chemistry Lectures, for example, Chemistry 130, and a required engineering course, so for example, Engineering 100, 101, or 151. The Computer Science and Engineering major requirements include completing a minimum of 58 credits. This does not include prerequisites. All major required courses must be taken for a letter grade and the student must receive a C or better to satisfy the major requirements. The program's major core requirements include EECS 203, EECS 280, EECS 281, EECS 370, EECS 376, and statistics. There are multiple ways to satisfy the statistics requirement, which you can find listed under the program core section in the CS Eng program guide, and or meet with an advisor if you have additional questions. Students are also required to take an Approved Major Design Experience, or MDE, which is a capstone design project recommended to be taken in one of your final two semesters. In addition to these requirements, CS Eng majors need to complete a total of 25 credits of technical electives. At least 12 of these credits must be in Approved Upper Level CS, or ULCS, technical electives, and at least three credits can be in approved expanded upper level CS technical electives. The remainder may be chosen from the approved flexible technical elective lists. As a note, any credits you earn in ULCS courses beyond the minimum 15 credits will count towards your flexible technical elective requirement. We recommend that you consult the approved list of computer science courses prior to registration. Please keep in mind that there are separate lists for different requirements, for example, ULCS, MDE, expanded ULCS, and flexible technical electives, so be sure to consult the appropriate list. Note that your MDE requirement is separate from your technical elective requirement and cannot double count or be shared with your 25 required technical elective credits. If you feel like a course has been left off one of these lists but encompasses similar content and rigor, you are able to submit a petition for an exception to the Computer Science Chief Program Advisor, also referred to as the CPA. Students should submit their request to the CPA prior to enrolling in a course that's not already on this approved list. This major also requires students to take some technical communication and professionalism courses. All students are required to take TechCom 300, EECS 496, and TechCom 497. TechCom 300 is a prerequisite to TechCom 497. It is important to note that your TechCom 497 requirement will need to be completed in the same term or after your major design experience course. EECS 496 must be completed in one of your final two semesters and is often taken with TechCom 497 in the MDE. However, EECS 496 is not required to be taken concurrently with these two courses. General course planning recommendations. 
We'd also like to share some general course planning recommendations with you as newly declared CSEng majors. Due to the rigorous nature of computer science courses, we generally recommend taking no more than two four credit EECS courses per term. It may be possible to take more depending on your individual circumstances, but be sure to consider the workload for each individual course. We suggest using the course atlas and the CSE course info webpage to learn more. It is also important to be aware of the new add drop deadlines each term. Remember, you are able to add or drop courses as needed throughout the first three weeks of classes. This gives you the opportunity to try out a combination of classes and make any necessary adjustments. If you're interested in studying abroad, you should start thinking about it by the beginning of sophomore year so that you can plan your schedule accordingly. Once students have declared CS, the CSE Undergraduate Advising Office will be your home base for advising. We will be the advising staff guiding you through course planning, requirements, and academic assistance as a declared CS student. We recommend students connect with advisors once a semester to ensure your course sequencing and plans are working toward your academic goals and graduation. And now we will discuss resources to aid your personal and academic success. Michigan's campus offers a variety of resources to support you while pursuing your major. Tutoring is incredibly beneficial in strengthening your understanding of course material, and the CSE division maintains a list of tutoring options for many EECS classes specifically. There are individual appointments, group sessions, and some free options, so you can identify which works best for you. The Engineering Center for Academic Success, or ECAS, alongside being one of our top tutoring recommendations for peer tutoring and group supplemental instruction sessions, also provides a helpful list of academic resources for engineering students to support in a variety of subject areas. The Honor Code outlines the standards of ethical conduct for engineering students at the University of Michigan. Students are responsible for reviewing and understanding the policies established in writing for each course at the beginning of each semester. These can vary significantly, so it's important to consult your instructor if they are unclear. We take the Honor Code seriously to prevent instances of copied code and plagiarized work. However, we do encourage students to support each other in their education and know that activities such as helping classmates with code debugging issues are common and mere real world industry collaboration. For more information on what constitutes an honor code violation, you may consult the Honor Council. Our office is also here to help should an Honor Council case impact your course timeline. Your health and well being is of the utmost importance and should be your number one priority as a student on campus. The Care Center is the central hub on campus to assist engineering students and our CSLSA students by providing genuine and practical support both inside and outside of the classroom. They can help you navigate many of the mental health support services we have, including but not limited to the following Michigan Engineering CAPS the acronym for Counseling and Psychological Services, offers counseling groups for those wishing to explore personal growth and gain awareness to enhance their functioning in personal and academic settings. This is in addition to one-on-one -on -one counseling that CAPS offers regularly to help foster mental and emotional well-being. UHS, or University Health Services, also offers wellness coaching, providing a holistic approach that optimizes wellness for student success via a collaborative, non-judgmental partnership with a coach. It is important to note that wellness coaching is not therapy and cannot fill in for traditional therapy offered by CAPS or other campus or community resources. The Care Center also directs to other resources as needed outside of perhaps CAPS and UHS, so don't hesitate to reach out if you need more support. Our advisors are also happy to connect you to the Care Center or direct to other resources to best meet your needs. Taking a holistic approach to wellness and your undergraduate experience also means connecting with your peers. We encourage you to explore the student groups and teams offered in CSE to get the most out of your experience in and outside of the classroom, as these student-led opportunities often provide social interaction, networking, project work experience, and valuable professional development and connection to industry. 
Research is another great experience to engage in outside of the classroom. We maintain a webpage where students can learn more about undergraduate research opportunities in computer science and engineering online. You can also review the specific CSC Research Areas page. If you click Learn More, you'll find a list of faculty doing research in that area with their research website linked. This is a great way to start contacting faculty to express interest in joining their lab or collaborating on independent research. We also encourage checking out the CSE Labs and Centers page to get involved. In addition to our support and academic resources, CSE is continually striving to build a more inclusive and supportive environment, welcoming people of all identities and backgrounds. These resources to promote inclusion are here to help you find and create a sense of community as you navigate your college experience, including campus offices that support a diverse community, identity-based student organizations, and opportunities for grants, awards, and conference travel supporting inclusive efforts. We also appreciate that one of the chief reasons students achieve an undergraduate degree is to prepare them for their future career path. After you declare your major, you will likely start more intensive planning for your future plans post-graduation. Students can meet with advisors in the Engineering Career Resource Center, or ECRC, for assistance in career development and exploration. You can also attend their career fairs and networking events, or access a variety of resources on their website. The Engineering Careers by 1220 portal will be a great asset, for example, in your career planning journey. Thank you for watching CSE's declaration video. Any questions you have can be directed to the CSE Undergraduate Advising Office. And finally, go blue.